going to diagrammatically cover the mirror drill. This is a conditioning drill that will involve two people at a given time, one person leading, one person following. The leading person is going to be moving randomly within a 10 to 15 yard square that the person following will be mimicking the mirror image of those movements as they see them and react to them in a 10 by 15 yard square of their own. What it looks like to draw it up. As I mentioned, you're going to have two people each in a 10 to 15 yard square. Lined up opposite each other. So, you have two squares, each about 10 to 15 yards on a side, and you're going to have person A in one square, person B set it up in the other square. Now, the way that we'll be doing this is a conditioning event with uh, the football team, is that we'll have several people uh, that will take turns rotating through. So, off to the side, we'll have Another several A folks, and then another several B folks out of the way, out of the square, so that the person from each team has the ability to move freely without fear of running into somebody. Now, the way this will work, if we will say that the A folks are the people that are actually going to be initiating the movement, that the B folks will be mimicking the mirror image of. If Person A, starting in the middle, sprints forward toward the line that divides the two squares. And as an aside, we want each person to stay within their own square, because we're going to be having several lines beside each other so that everyone can go through without having to wait a long time. Getting back to this, if A sprints forward toward the line, B, seeing this, will likewise sprint forward toward the line until A changes their movement. Let's say they then decide to sprint to their right. B, recognizing this, will then also sprint in that same direction, but it will be to their left, B's left. Now, let's say A, at this point, decides to sprint back diagonally toward the opposite corner, then B, recognizing this, would mirror that and sprint diagonally back toward the opposite corner of their square. A, at this point, might decide to shuffle a couple of steps to their left. B, recognizing this, would then quickly shuffle a couple of steps to her left. A, at that point, might decide to sprint forward again. At which point B would have to quickly see that and change from a shuffle to a sprint forward. And so it continues for a period of time, probably 10 to 20 seconds. Uh, whistle blocks will usually initiate and end each of these periods. Um, at which point, the two people that are in each square, A and B, will rotate out. The next person in line will each come in and, and, uh, and take their turn with the whistle blast to start. That is the mirror drill in a nutshell.